Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to perform two tasks. First, identifying user information who is remotely logged on to the computer. The second thing, based on the result, we will give them the administrator rights on same computer. So in this script, the first part, uh, we are going to give the information about the computer list. So uh, let me show you that file. We have a two computer here. Okay, and you can see here the exchange one and this mom server zero. One. We are using the for each loop on against each computer and we are using this actual command who will fetch the result for us. Okay, so this is the actual command who is doing our job to getting the user information. And then again here we are using the pipe and then using the filter. Okay, I just want a name and the username. Here name means the computer name and the username is like who is remotely logged on or who is logged on to that computer. Okay, so it will only give us this two filter. Now again we are using here pipe and we are using the export hyphen csv command and here the path we have given as a csv. Append you know that uh, every time you should not wipe the older data and add the new data. So we are using the append here. So whenever you use this append it will rewrite that but it will keep the older information and again the new information it will add into the same file no type information so in the first uh, in the first line it will not give the additional information we don't require so it will start from the column name and then it will give the data okay so uh, once this is done what it is going to do it is again using that exported csv file as the input file here to perform our second task now in the second task what we are going to do here we are importing that csv file and in uh, whatever the file is generated so it have a two column right the name is the computer name and the username so username is the rdp user who is logged into that computer so here we are mapping that uh, that uh, csv file column to a variable so here again we have created a new variable here computer dollar dollar computer and dollar rdp user and here we are giving this user name dot name of this column okay so i'll show you how i have mapped that so you can also do that uh, in in your script whenever you are working on the csv file as i import okay so let me show you the folder there is no csv file as of now so let me run the script the first part so the command has been completed successfully so we will get the rdp user so here uh, we, we are giving the dollar computer as a variable and we are giving this okay whatever the users are there like the for each entry the name will be the user dot name and the username will be dollar user dot user okay so we are using this part not this part to assign the variable okay because each variable should have the unique entry every time when it loop that csv file and then we are using the uh, next command invoke command on this computer name the script block is like add hyphen local group member hyphen group administrator you can mention any group here if you want rdp you can just give it rdp or any power user and the member then again we are using the rdp user variable here what we are getting from the csv file okay so every time it will loop uh, this entry it will go to the next column next row every time so whatever the entry will be here it will go like this okay so let me run this and uh, let me show the administrator group here if it have mic okay let me remove this one done so there is no mic now and uh, okay let me clear the window and let me run the file oh okay sorry the file i had not deleted so it is saying okay it is already there
okay now i have again removed the mic here and let me clear the window now there is no output file here let me run the script okay so now this time it have given only one error message for the move server one you can see here and what it is showing that member built-in was not found it means the member is missing so you also know that uh, when we had run the script there is no logged on user so definitely it cannot add anyone because there is no user logged on to this computer that is the reason it is giving error that uh, there is no user that we can add into the administrator group but the mic should be added into that and we can verify from here you can see the mic is there in the administrator group okay so now again let me go here and let me log in with the uh, any username okay now i have logged in with my name so definitely when we run the script again now there should be a username okay so let me delete this file and let me run only the first part where it identify who is logged into the remote computer fine a file has been run okay and you can see here now this time it have given the mic and swap name okay so this time if i run the script it will not give any error because uh, uh, like both the computer have the username entry right so let me clear this one and uh, let me delete this so so let me log off from here okay And now we will see if there is no logged in user and uh, uh, currently we are getting the error but we should not get the error right we should skip uh, any computer uh, which do not have the logged on username available in front of that so how we can do that right You can see here it have given the error for the second computer because there is no logged on user so how to skip this right so we have a second script here uh, the same script but the modified version so here what we are doing the first part we are doing the properly but here we are using the raw username why raw username because it will give the information about the uh, user who is logged in uh, to that computer and the computer also it will show where no one is logged in right so what we are going to do here we are importing the same csv file but we are again putting the filter here so what filter so in this filter it will automatically remove the uh, row if any of the column of which uh, which like there is uh, no information or it's empty okay so uh, let me show you this part what it will exactly do so now this time let me delete this okay and let me run this part run and you can see here the raw file has been created and it have the information about the computer which have no logged in user right so i want to just remove this uh, this computer who have nothing like who don't have information about the logged on user so i'll close this file and now i'll run the second part okay so if i run this part it will automatically remove the entry which have the no user information and you can see now it have only one computer why because the second computer had no user information so it removed that part and then once we have this file we are going to run the same script on this rdp user
I run the script and this time there is no error like uh, no user account found as earlier because it have taken only the file which have both the entry both the column and you can use this script for your requirement and if you have any doubt you can just put into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video